I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 338. Welcome. Okay, so uh, I don't have a whole lot to show you. I'm just coming off of finishing up Vlogmas and working on my goals for the year. Um, yeah, this is the first uh, regular Yarn Joy Podcast episode video of the year for 2024. And so uh, I do have one finished object, but I think everybody has seen it. It was the mitered square granny blanket that I did during Vlogmas. Uh, I've already got it put up in my closet, but I will go ahead and for those that maybe haven't seen it, um, this was a pattern from Premier Yarns and is a free pattern. And I did it during Vlogmas when I did the scrap yarn ball um, swap <laughs> with Terilyn. And uh, then I used my own main color of black, okay? And so let me go ahead and pop the picture in right here. And so you can see that. So there it is. Uh, it turned out really nice and I'm very happy with it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've got it folded up and put in my closet and to add to the whatever amount of blankets I will have to donate for this year. Okay, and so that's my finished object. That's it. But I have started some uh, projects because um, I actually finished up just about all of my whips. And so um, I went ahead and started some projects. The first amigurumi that I started for the year is Bluey. Now my grandbaby loves Bluey. <laughs> and so um, when I saw this pattern, I thought, oh, I have to make Bluey. And then there is a smaller version, the same pattern, but smaller. And I'm thinking that if I just change the colors, I might, and if I find the right yarn color, I might make Bingo with a smaller one, which is the little sister Bingo. And so, um, Anyway, let me show you that. The pattern is from hellostitchesxo.com.au, I think. But I'll put it down below in the description box. Now, I will say that I was, I was having a little bit of trouble following the pattern, just the written pattern, just the way she worded some things. I, I don't know. I was having trouble with it and, and the way she numbered the rounds. But luckily, she does have two, uh, I know there's at least two, because I've watched both of them, uh, two tutorials, you know, like part one, part two, and it kind of, and it helped me a lot. I had to pull it out just a little bit, because I had not did it right, and then, but now I've got it right, and so now I'm just on some, um, uh, a bunch of repeats. <laughs> so, here's what I've got so far. So, I'm working on the body. So, there is the body, and there is the tummy patch for Bluey. Okay. Now she said the way she does it is she, she, this is a tapestry crochet, I think. And so she carried the yarn like all the way around until she needed the light blue again, pick it up and work that. But I decided not to do that. It's going to be inside the stuffed animal. And so I just cut my, uh, cut my ends, you know, like cut it. And then when I came back around, I attached it again and just did that little pluck, you know, a little, that row. And then I cut it again, you know, that way I wouldn't have to be carrying the light blue with these, with the darker blue, you know, all the way around with it. But I mean that, that I, I just knotted the ends together, you know, one end, one, like the ending tail to a finishing tail or whatever. Anyway, um, that's going to be fine. It's going to be inside anyway. But anyway, there it is. <laughs> and I can tell you what yarns I picked out. I had to pick out three shades of blue. Okay. And so, um, Bluey has a dark blue and a medium blue and a light blue. And so I'm using the bag that Terilyn made me during Vlogmas. And, um, so I came in here and pulled yarn out of my stash. Uh, the dark blue that I'm going to use, which I haven't used yet, this is for, I think, up at the top of his head and some spots. Oh, sorry. It's not a him. I found out Bluey is a girl. <laughs> um, I guess because of the blue color, I just assumed that Bluey was a boy and Bingo is the little sister. But but it's not. No, it's not. They're both girls. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the dark blue I picked out was this one. Oh, I'll pop in a picture. Sorry about that. I'll pop in a picture of what the doll's going to look like, or the stuffed animal, what's going to look like when it's get, when I get finished. So here it is. There's Bluey right there. 
<laughs> if you're familiar or has have small children in your household or you know grandkids or whatever you may have seen that cartoon character before it's it's from a cartoon on disney plus anyway my grandbaby loves that cartoon so he's always talking about i want to watch but uh, no he just says bluey you want bluey you know so anyway um the dark blue i picked out was uh i think it's no it's not all red heart super saver well i don't know for sure maybe <laughs> anyway red heart super saver this one is in royal and that's the darker blue that i'm going to use okay when i when i have when i need it okay and then my medium blue is what i'm working with right now it's what's attached to my project and it is also red heart super saver but it is in it is called delft blue d-e-l-f-t okay and so that's my medium blue okay and then the light blue, the reason I said I don't know if it's all Super Saver, I think it is, but it, I've grabbed this one in it with no ball band, so I'm not positive, and I don't know the name. It's probably like light blue or something, but those are the three colors I'm using, okay? And then Bluey has a, a tan colored snout, okay? And so I picked out this one, and I think this is, yeah, this is a ball band. This is the color I'm using. It is a very floppy skein, but it is actually, I think it's, I love this yarn. I've got it, I've got it taped up small, but it's in the colorway light taupe. And I think that's, I love this yarn. Anyway, that's what I'm using for the snout. Okay. And then of course I'll have to have black for the nose and, you know, eyes, whatever. And then I did pull out some white to use for the, the, the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. I think that's all I've got in here. Yeah. So that is what the colors I'm using. And I thought that this bag would be a good bag to keep these big skeins in. <laughs> so thank you again, Terilyn, for making me this awesome bag. Okay, so um, I think that's about it that I can talk about Bluey. Let's see. I am using a, oh, I'm using a 3.75 or an F hook, 3.75 millimeter. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's what she called. I think she, the pattern might've been like called for maybe a four millimeter hook or a G hook. But when I'm making amigurumis, I don't like to use, well, I guess maybe I have used a G hook on amigurumis, but not normally. I either like to use a 3.5 millimeter, which is an E hook or the F hook, which is 3.75. Um, usually yeah unless i'm making like backpack buddies or something and then i'll go down i might even use a 2.5 it just depends <laughs> but anyway um so that's what i'm using for bluey is a 3.75 and uh i can't wait to to get it finished and and give it to my grandbaby because i think he's gonna get a kick out of that <laughs> um he last it's been chilly pretty chilly the last few nights you know and so my son sent us pictures last night of the grandbaby. I guess they had just, he had just gotten out of the bath. And so uh, he had a, a bathrobe on and the bathrobe was bluey and the bathrobe had a hood. And so he had the hood on and they had the ears, you know, just like bluey, his face and the ears that was on the hood. It was so cute. <laughs> I wish I could show you the pictures, but, but no, I can't. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, like I said, I can't wait to get give him finished so I can give it to him. Okay, let's go on to number two works in progress is that I got a new Feel Better Friend Doll request. And so uh, she already sent me the information, my administrator. And it is a nine-year-old little girl from Florida. She has autism. And um, I noticed, she they sent me like several pictures. And I noticed that... Uh, in two of the pictures, she had Disney dresses on. Like one of them, she was dressed like uh, Snow White. And she looked like maybe she was even at Disney World. Because she does live in Florida. But I'm I, I was thinking that one picture was taken at Disney World. But anyway, she has a Snow White dress on. And then there was another picture. And the other picture, she had a Rapunzel dress on. And so I thought, well, she must like Disney Princess or Disney stuff, you know. And so I have this little dress that I got from Timu, and I haven't used it yet. It's for the 14 to 14 and a half inch dolls, which that's what the Feel Better Friend dolls, usually that's about the size they turn out to be for. And so I have this one little print that's got Alice in Wonderland on it, see? 
And so I'm thinking that I will make the the doll, you know, and, and put this, this will be the clothes for the doll. Uh, I will just, you know, um, change yarn colors to, you know, give her underwear. And then, um, but then instead of using, you know, usually what I do is I make like a skirt or shorts that I crochet. And then I use one of the t-shirts that I get from Amazon and I sew on an iron-on patch, you know, um, having to do with something that the child likes. But since I've got this little dress and it has Alice in Wonderland on it, which is Disney, I thought, oh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use this. So what I use, and what I usually do when I make Feel Better Friend dolls, I usually make them in with a 3.5 millimeter hook. But um, I'm, I'm kind of afraid that the body is gonna be too big if I would have used that size hook you know, because I really want it to fit in this dress. And I tend to really stuff the dolls firmly when I stuff them. And so I thought, well, just for safe measure, I think I'm going to use a 3.25 millimeter hook instead of a 3.5, just a little smaller, make the body a little smaller. I'm hoping that that will be good where the dress will fit on the doll. And so I've already made the two, I've made the arms, that's it. I haven't stuffed them yet, but I have gotten started. Um, I was gonna start on the legs, but the way I like to do the legs, I like to have a like a built-in shoe. So I have to start with the shoe color first. And so uh, I needed to come in here and get this dress so then I can try to figure out what color to pick out. Um, maybe even color to match that bow, that might be cute, um, as far as shoe color, and so, um, yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to do, and then I will, you know, do, start with the body, start on the body, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's what I've gotten so far, not much, arms, that's all, and all I do need to get my stuffing out and start stuffing also, I need to stuff these, Okay, so that is works in progress number two, and then um, the I have uh, one more works in progress that I just started just a little while ago, and so if you watched yesterday's video, which was crafting with friends, I gave you a big list of blankets that I had picked out that I would like to, to make this upcoming year, and so, or not all of them, but at least I was thinking, well, if I could make nine, um, make nine of the 11 that I've been looking at, that that would be good. I have two. I don't want to do it after all, so I thought I give me a I give myself a couple extras just just in case. <laughs> anyway, so one of my goals was to learn two new techniques as well as these make nine. And so one of the techniques was the Felix blanket, which is a scrappy blanket. And um, it's, it's like, a, it's kind of a version of a corner to corner because the little sections you stick in there is got, it's, it's kind of like the corner to corner, you know, it's a little different. And I had mentioned before that I had tried this, tried to make this, couple of years ago and for some and at that time there was only a written pattern that was available and so I was trying to make it following the written pattern and I was getting totally confused uh, I just I just couldn't do it and so I I got frustrated and I quit well since then the the designer because there was other people that was having a little trouble with it as well so the designer was so nice about making videos to demonstrate the different techniques and it seemed like maybe I tried that and, 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 um, I still wasn't quite getting it. And then, and then after that, she made even some more videos. So now she's got a playlist where she takes you, I guess she takes you step by step through the whole entire thing, or at least get you really established in what's going on. So then you can kind of catch on to it. And so I'm so glad about that. Um, and so I started watching that. Started watching the first video because you start with this triangle shape, which is kind of weird. And it was very weird. I had to uh, really, you know, follow along with her because it's like, I don't know what you're doing, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I did it. <laughs> and so now I'm on the second color. That's it. And now these sections, it is a scrappy blanket, but it, it uh, the sections take a good amount of yarn. So, I mean, you wouldn't use like real small scrap balls. You know, you'd need a, a bigger ones. So anyway, I'll show you what I've done so far. 
that's what I've done so far. <laughs> and so see, I've run out of green. And so I know I've got a big skein of this in here. I just need to get it so I can finish off this section. But that's what I've done so far. So this triangle piece right here was really, really different than a corner to corner, you know. And so I'm so glad that she made this step-by-step -step, uh, playlist of videos. There's like quite a few videos. And so I'm going to follow along with her and, and um, you know... And then hopefully I'll catch on to what's going on and then I can work, on, work it on my own. Anyway, the YouTube channel is called A Stitch Whimsy. Yeah, A Stitch Whimsy. And I'll link it down below that playlist, okay, in the description box. So, yeah, I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy that it's like, oh, I'm kind of getting it. I think so. <laughs> and so that's what I've done so far. I need to go ahead and these, this is something that's going to have tails to weave in. So I need to make sure that like as soon as I finish this green section, which I, I may be finishing it, I have to go up to here. And then I don't know if there's another, another row of it before we change to some a different color that I'm not sure. But uh, when I finish this green, this section, then I'm going to stop and I'm going to weave in some of these loose tails. So that way, you know, I won't have like a whole bunch to weave in later. Anyway, I'm so excited. <laughs> and so I had mentioned before that it's a right-handed, um, it is a right-handed video, you know, for right-handers. Just talks about how to do that where there's not a left-handed version but you use a mirror and you turn your your phone or whatever and you point the video to the mirror and then follow the mirror I haven't tried that yet and if I run into a lot of difficulty uh, just trying to figure it out following her the right hand version then I definitely will will try that with the mirror um, I had a little bit of trouble turning I wasn't quite putting it in the right spot and I think it was one reason, like I said, it is kind of backwards to me, but, uh, I figured it out. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try that if, if I can't figure it out. So thank you so much, Monique. And then there was somebody else even talked about how you can even use your phone. And if you watch it, watch the video on your phone, you can get your phone to record it and then flip it and you can watch it that way. I haven't figured that out, <laughs> but, um, I'm sure my phone probably will do it, but, um, anyway, uh, I thank you so much for all of those that, that suggested different ways to get around that. But I think maybe I'm, I'm figuring it out. Just, just watching it the way it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that is what I'm doing on that. Now I will pop in a picture right here of the, the Felix blanket that I had, I showed before in yesterday's video where I was talking about this blanket. And so there's what it's going to look like, you know, that's a scrappy version of it. And so of course it depends on what colors you use and everything. But anyway, there it is. <laughs> I just thought, I've seen it for years and I just thought that was such a cool blanket and I really wanted to learn, learn how to make it this year. So there. <laughs> I am using an eye hook with this and it's worst weight yarn. An eye hook is a 5.5 millimeters, what I'm, what I've been using. Okay. Okay. Um, and that is all of my crochet whips right now. Uh, I've still got that secret project that, that I'm supposed to be working on and I haven't been working on it, which is not a good thing. So I really need to get in, get on to that. Also, <laughs> this weekend or something. But anyway, I do. I am working on a diamond painting project, and so my diamond painting project is the seahorse picture that I was I showed you before that I want to do for my bathroom, one of my bathrooms. So I'll show you what I've done on that. So here's the picture, okay? And so I have gotten a lot of this section down here. I think I've gotten well up to here, but then there's some empty spots. So that's, that's been, I've been working on that a little bit. Let me hold the plastic up so you can kind of see it better maybe. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like. I'm hoping that it's not going to turn out really dark. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that it's, I don't know. 
I hope. <laughs> it has quite a bit of detail and, and when with diamond paintings when it's smaller, the image is smaller and it has too much detail, it makes it kind of look kind of blurry. Uh, my Alice back there, um, it is big picture and so even though it has a lot of detail in it, um, since it the size is big, it it looks pretty clear looking. So I'm hoping that it's, this one's not going to look too What's the word? Pixelated, I guess. Anyway, there's that. <laughs> okay. And that is all I've been working on. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have a collab coming up in, um, let's go on to upcoming, I guess. So upcoming, I have a collab that I was invited to join. Um, and it is being put on by, oh, I shouldn't have said that because now I don't remember what her name is. Ashley. But I can't think of her channel. Craft of... Uh, no. Hang on just a minute. <laughs> okay, so I had to go get my phone and look at my email because I can't... I, for some reason, could not think of her channel name. But it's, it's Ashley and her YouTube channel is... Um, casually crafted and I will link it down below in the description box. Anyway, she had mess she emailed me, asked me if I wanted to take part in a collab that she was putting together. In fact, she even asked me or said that if there's any other YouTubers that want to become involved to contact her, you know, that she would love other people to join as well. But what what it what it is is going to be in February and just one day a week during February. And so February of this year is leap year. And so she thought it would be fun to one day a week come on and make a little video showing a frog themed project. And I thought, oh, well, that'll be fun. And it's just one day per week. And I think she said maybe she was going to do it on Thursdays because there's five Thursdays of that month. And she thought that that would work out well. So anyway, I'm going to be coming. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then also, I believe Ella of No Catchy Name is going to going to do it also. So if there are any other YouTubers out there that make videos and, and they would want to... Um, becoming, you know, do it and do some frog themed items because it's leap year. Um, I, I think that would be really fun. So I will put, um, Ashley's information down the, in the description box. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to her channel and, um, I'll look, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to her channel so that way you can get in contact with her to to talk to her about her or let her know that you want to become in, you know, that you want to do the collab also. But I think it would be really fun if we have several people do that. And so I've been looking at frog patterns. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. And I, I've picked out some that I'm going to work on. So that way I can show one each week during February. So that's upcoming. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what she's going to call it. Leap something. I don't know if she has has a name for it yet or not. Let me see her. It's just something about leap, leap year slash frog theme make along. Okay. So, um, yeah. That's all I know as far as a name. Um, but, yeah. Contact Ashley and let her know that you want to be involved in it. So, I think that will be great. Okay, uh, so that's upcoming. Uh, what else is upcoming? Well, I still have not done that tutorial. I need to go ahead and do it so that way I can finish this blanket. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm hoping sometime this upcoming weekend I'll get it done and I will get it posted. <laughs> Um, yeah, it won't take me long to do it. I just need to do it. It's just, uh, you know, I had to go grocery shopping today. I don't think I've gone grocery shopping in a couple of weeks, I guess, because I had to get a lot of stuff. Ugh. <laughs> and so I thought, well, I'm going to force myself out of the house and go do it and get grocery shopping done. And so I did. And it was cold, but I got out there and did it. <laughs> and so that was, it was a busy day for me for that. Yesterday, I babysit half the day. And so, um, yeah, I just been one thing after the other. <laughs> but anyway, it'll get done. <laughs> okay, um, and then I think really that's all that else is going on. I made orange chicken for dinner. It was just a frozen. I made the rice and then and then I got the orange chicken, the kit or whatever. Uh, it's like great value because it was from Walmart. 
that's what I fixed for dinner. So we had that. I wanted something quick since, since I had to do the grocery shopping and then get all that carried in the house and put, put it all away. And then, you know, I, I'm, so I just thought, no, I'm going to make something easy. So that's what we had for dinner. <laughs> I also bought a pork roast. And so I may cook that tomorrow and make like carnitas or something with it. Um, I'm thinking anyway, I guess that's it. I uh, don't really have anything else. I don't think. No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and, um, yeah, keep an eye out for the tutorial for this weekend. And, and then, uh, Tuesday tidbits will be returning next week. Um, as far as I know, <laughs> and it's going to be, it'll be another designer spotlight. So I'm excited about doing that again. And, um, yeah, I have a schedule for next week, Tuesday tidbits and then crafting with friends again, and then my regular podcast uh, episode. And so, uh, it's going to be a good week next week. Okay. Everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video. Bye.